Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys, so we're going to, I think this is going to be a love read. We're going to pull some messages and we're going to see what it is that you need to know. So if anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. If you are interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. All right, so let's see what we got here. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels is right, okay? So I feel like for some of you intuitively, like you got a question, okay, about a person or a situation, you know what I'm saying? There's something that you're wanting to know, but you already know the answer to this question, okay? So I feel like right now you're being called to do what's right. If this is your energy, if you already are seeking some type of answer, but it's like deep within, you already know the answer. You already know what you need to know. Then do what you feel you need to do, okay? Let there be a closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So I feel like for some of you, this could be about a relationship. You know, maybe you're being called, like you and someone, maybe spending too much time together. Or, you know, maybe you're being called to kind of pull your energy back so that you both can individually, you know, focus on your dreams and your goals at this time. Okay, because love doesn't, just because you love someone, I mean, they got to be around you. 24 7 like there can be a closeness around you like this this person can still show you and let you know that they miss you and still show you love without having to be around you each and every day okay so i feel like there's a connection like maybe you are used to being in a codependent energy or you could be used to dealing with someone who's codependent but it's like love never claims someone okay it's simply allow and gives here all right, and we have the past is behind you now. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So I feel like some of you could still be holding on to some type of aspect of the past, but it's like now release it, embrace, you know, what's happened, and embrace having some type of new, new hop. <laughs> new possibilities in life okay a new path is opening up and it is available for you right now y'all i ain't never studied so much in my damn life well this must be retrograde it's crazy let me get a seal okay so let's pull up some messages here and then we'll Pull some more, okay? So it's gonna be a love reading for my Scorpios. You can be single in a relationship, it don't matter. It's gonna be for a little bit of everybody, okay? Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. What is it that they need to know? The love reading for Scorpio Holly Spirits. What do they need to know? What do we need to know? <laughs> love reading for my beautiful and my handsome. Scorpio, what is it that we all need to know? All right, let this be a good love reading. Love reading for Scorpio. All right, y'all. So we got signs and clues. Okay. So I feel like right now the universe could be trying to talk to you, okay? Maybe they're trying to get you to do what feels right. Maybe you're trying to make some type of decision right now. Like, I feel like some of you are trying to make a decision, okay? And the universe could be sending you, you know, multiple number synchronicities and signs and things of this nature and you like are y'all talking to me and they like yes we are talking to you so the universe could be trying to talk to you maybe they're trying to get you to accept some type of new path that is now becoming available or will become available for you and wanting you to have faith like it could be all type of reasons but pay attention to any signs and clues that you feel like you know what's being said to you okay we got passion yeah this this has to do with the universe trying to get you to be open to a new path and new possibilities that I feel like are in store for you in the future. Okay, this could be a connection here. This could be something maybe you're going to have a lot of passion towards. This could be a relationship or passion. But they want you to allow 
they want you to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy like have passion be so happy like be in this different type of energy here okay so for some of you i feel like this is love like they want you for some of you that like there is new love that's coming towards you but i feel like you're not open to it i feel like you're trying or some of you are still holding on to things that happened in the past and because that you've created some type of block on your heart and because of that you're not allowing this love in okay you need to free yourself free yourself and take back control of your life here yes and some of you, even in a relationship, you still can be free within a relationship. You still can have enough space. You and your partner have enough space for you able to focus on your goals and your dreams and the things that you want, but still have a relationship here. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this for my singles and for my Scorpios in a relationship here. All right, Holy Spirit, tell us more. What is Scorpio? Ooh, that came out quick. We got to love yourself first. Yeah, some of you guys, you're not putting yourself first. Okay, and that's why you're not maybe attracting the type of men or women that you want in your life because you're not putting yourself first. You're still putting everyone else's wants and needs before yours because this came out in reverse and it landed right here on allow your heart and, and, and full shit and so to sing here. Okay, so I feel like some of you are not focused on self-love. You're not really doing things that make you happy at this time. Okay. All right, messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. All right, tell us more. What does Scorpio need to know? This love reading. Okay. Yeah, we got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Some of you are called to, maybe you're getting signs and clues about you need to go into hermit mode. You need to spend like, some time to yourself. Nobody, no lover, no nobody. Just retreat, okay? Or some of you, maybe, you know, it's going to be time in the future where you and someone could be reconnecting here, okay? And you're going to be called to spend some time alone and really get to know this person here, okay? We got natural evolution. Let the situation unfold naturally. Yes, for some of you, you've been trying to control a situation, okay? Or there's a connection here, you know, that's trying to come back. But maybe you've been trying to control, like, how this situation unfolds here. And you don't. You can't have any control over that situation. All right, tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. Love reading. What do they need to know? Messages for my Scorpios. All right, we got soulmate. <laughs> for some of you have a soulmate that's coming in, okay? Some of you have already found your romantic partner, okay? You can be dealing with this person now. This is what's trying to come into you. This is this new path that's awaiting for you is this soulmate but this is going to be your romantic partner like i said when you and this person come together or come into union it's going to call for you to retreat you and this person really spending some time alone together really getting to know each other and bonding i'm talking about bonding bonding like when you was in high school on the phone to two or three o'clock in the morning your mama gotta get on the phone I'm like hey, get off my damn phone you know what i'm saying you know what time it is you know you gotta get up and go to school in the morning i'm talking about that type of bonding okay because there's going to be some type of strong chemistry. You and this person are going to be like magnets, okay? Nothing's going to be able to pull you apart. Let's get one more. Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. It's love read. I like this, you guys. This is beautiful. All right, tell us more. Man, look at this. Come on through, spirit. Look at this. There's a gravitational pull here. Come on through. You and this person would be like, man, it's, I'm done. Okay, I am done. Let's pull up from the answer in time and to end this. Let's see what some of this, for some of you guys, when this new path to be opening for you, okay? If anything has resonated here, don't forget to like this video for your girl. All right, Holy Spirit. So can we get a little answer in time in here? Can you give us a little time frame of when this new path, when this new lover could be entering my Scorpio's life? All right, messages for Scorpio. All right, we got trust the universe. All right, trust the universe that it's meant for you and this person to come back into union or whatever it is, trust is going to happen. We have be yourself. So I feel like, it's giving me a little bit of past. I ain't going to lie, y'all. Look for a sign. Someone could be looking for a sign. 
are looking for you to give, but it's your decision. You're going to have a decision to make, y'all. You're going to have some type of decision when it comes to love here. All right, something can happen in the daytime, and we got to make a move. All right, so you could be called to make a move, or someone here could be making a move towards you, okay? All right, so let's get to signs, y'all. Who is this reading about? We got Libra, Capricorn, Aries, Virgo. Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio, Taurus. And we have Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, and Aquarius. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.